Hello everyone, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smartwatch series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the blood pressure measurement of the Galaxy Watch 4 so that you can get the best possible blood pressure measurement. Please note that the blood pressure and ECG measurement features of the Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic are not available in every country of the world. However, there is a link in the description, follow that link to go to the video I did on how to get these two features irrespective of your country or the phone you use. Okay, so guys, we are going to calibrate the blood pressure measurement of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here with this Omron blood pressure monitor. Okay, now what I need to do if I go to the blood pressure measurement feature of the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic here and tap on um, learn more. It says follow the instructions in Samsung Health Monitor to calibrate your watch. All right, so I'm going to open up my phone here and I'm going to tap on open phone app and this will automatically open up the Samsung Health Monitor app. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is to tap on, um, I think this should be here. Let's can see this clearly. I don't know if you can see that clearly. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you can see that clearly. All right. So I'm going to calibrate the watch. So I'll tap on this, calibrate the watch. And it says overview of the calibration process of your watch. You will need a valid blood pressure monitor. This is a manual blood pressure monitor from Omron. Omron is one of the most trusted brands as far as blood pressure measurement devices are concerned. The next it says you will follow instructions within the phone app to take three measurements on your blood pressure cuff. You will need to wear your watch during this time so it can be calibrated. So I'll tap on next to proceed. Before proceeding, you should know do not change your medications or dosage based on watch readings. Always talk to your doctor first. Now I'm going to read that again. It says, do not change your medications or dosage based on watch readings. Always talk to your doctor first. The next it says, avoid caffeine, alcohol, nicotine, and exercises 30 minutes before measuring. The next, it says, do not use if you are pregnant. And the next, it says, do not use if you have these medical conditions. So tap on that to find out what those medical conditions are. So go ahead and tap on get started. Now it says, make sure the watch is snug on your wrist. Like I have it here, okay? It's snug on my wrist and I have some distance between this and my ankle. Okay, so I'll tap on next to proceed. It says, fit the blood pressure monitor cuff on the arm opposite your watch. I'm wearing the cuff right on my um, right arm and I'm wearing this on my left wrist, okay? So I'm just gonna tap on next to continue. And it says, start your blood pressure monitor now. So I'm gonna tap on that and I have to stay still to get the best possible measurements. So guys, I need to enter these readings to my phone right here. Okay, as you can see, it says, what measurement finish? Enter the readings from blood pressure monitor on phone, okay? So I'm going to enter it now. We have the systole, which is the up one. We have the diastole, which is the down one. Okay, as you can see here, systole and diastole. So I'll tap on enter now. 
Okay, the sys toll is 134. That's quite high. The diastolic is 75. So I'm tap on 75 here. Now tap on done. Okay. And it says confirm. So go ahead and confirm that. Okay. The first measurement completed. Okay, so we still need to keep the watch and cup on, follow instructions on the next screen. So we tap on next to proceed. And now it says make sure your watch is on your wrist and your cuff is on the opposite arm. Just like before, we go ahead. And we're going to start the blood pressure measurement again. Tap on this. So guys, the second reading is here, okay, and I'm going ahead and enter now. The systolic is 137 and the diastolic is 81, I'm going to enter 81 and now tap on done, I'll tap on confirm, okay, so I'll go ahead and take the last measurement, so I'll tap on next and I'll start the blood pressure measurement again. So guys, this is the last measurement, so I'll go ahead and enter this. So I'll tap on enter now. And the systolic now is 126, okay? The diastolic is 80, so I'll tap on 80 here and I'll enter, okay? And I'll confirm this again. So there we go, it says calibration finished. Now you can take a blood pressure measurement on your watch. Wear the watch on the same wrist as you wore as one during calibration. So I'll just go ahead and tap on OK to finish. All right, guys. So I'm going to take my blood pressure measurement now so that you can see. And here we go again, guys. Um, while the Galaxy Watch 4 here has 133 against 79, and my heart rate on the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic is 81 beat per minute. On the arm run blood pressure monitor, it is 130 against 84, and my heart beat is 84 beats, 84 beat per minute. So, guys, that is how you can calibrate the Galaxy Watch 4 blood pressure measurement feature in order to get the best. 
possible to not spray Germany in Brazil. So thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.